Welcome to NoBit Gaming. We make videos on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. We featured a a few um, games in our intro video on our channel homepage. You can check that out after this. But um, we featured a, a few games in that video, and we thought we could uh, play those games. We probably should since we featured them, huh? Yeah. So this uh, week what's go this game be. Called? Yars Revenge. Yars Revenge? Yeah, it's one of my favorites from the Atari 2600. You probably just start on mode zero. Mode zero? What's mode zero? So uh, on the Atari, you have a select and a start switch. They, that was how you get to the different like difficulties and stuff. Mm. Start? Yeah, it's going. Just hit the... Uh, the only button the Atari controller would have. So what's, what do I try? What am I trying to do again? So you try and destroy that little ship there in the center. Uh -huh. You can only do that with a cannon, which you get by nibbling at the shields there. Or if there's no shields left, you can get to it by flying through it. I did. You still got three lives left. This was one that I really always enjoyed. Always enjoyed Defender. I played lots of Defenders. You said like you had almost got to a hundred, and then you had to like go eat dinner or something. Yeah, my mom made made me turn it off. I don't know what would have happened. What happens after that though? I don't know if it just cycles over. Yeah. You're not doing so good. I mean, it probably is only like your second or third time playing, but so now you have I that can cannon. So if you fire that, not at yourself, because it will kill you. You have to move out of the way. How do I move out of the way? I can't move out of the way. Yeah, so you fire it and then press, like, fly out of the way. So make sure... There you go. You got him. Oh! Now you go to, like, the next level. Oh, okay, okay, I understand, I understand. Yeah, there you okay, go. Okay, 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 I see it now, I see it now. I didn't just have to destroy that whole thing. No. I thought I, I, thought I had to destroy that whole thing and then, like, kill the thing. No, no, you can destroy just a little sliver in there and then get your cannon through his shield. So, oh, okay. press the next button. Now this is, like, the next level. And they actually just repeat. So this, oh. You I did. died. I have another life? Yeah. How am I supposed to do that? You gotta destroy enough of his shield so that your cannon can uh, make it through that. And move and hit it. Him. It's moving. Yeah. Whoa. That's close. How do I tell if he's shooting? He's not. He turns into that little saw blade looking thing and then he'll come out after you. Oh, he turns into it? Yeah. So you probably got enough that you could probably. Uh, get to them now so this one was created by how do i use the cannon where's the cannon you have to nibble on some of his shield there to get it oh there you go now you got a cannon this one was created by howard scott Wal yes! warshaw the same guy who created uh et mm. and uh raiders of the lost ark as well Wait, this looks like the first level. Yep, it just sits there and rotates back and forth. Oh. It's like most Atari games. You're just trying to get a score. They didn't have much space to deal with. It's like an arcade game. Yeah, but this is still fun. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this was a great game. Hold on, I'm going to get the entire shield done. I know I don't have to, but I want to. So, like how you just pass through him like that? Like, if you get rid of the entire shield, that's also how you can get a cannon. Right there, like, flying through him. Okay. Yes! This game's fun! I told you, yeah, it's a great game. Oh, no. I forgot about that thing. Yeah. I forgot about that thing. I, I I did not. I wasn't even thinking about that. Oh, this comes soul blade. Oh, that thing's behind you. Yeah. And behind. There's your cannon. You got a cannon. Oh, I oh. missed. Just barely. Oh. Seriously. 
Oh, so close. I can't feel cheated Oh, on it's, that it's one. a Soul Blade. Watch out. Oh, oh, that was so close. There you go. Nice. That was a nice solid shot there. Yeah. I feel like it would be cooler if, like, I know this is, like, an old game, but, um, like, um, it would have been cool if, like, they added, like, different, like, like, levels, like, the boxes are different. Yeah, you gotta remember a lot of this stuff just repeats, because, I mean, they are de dealing with, like, memory limitations and stuff, too. Yeah. Ooh. It is very easy to, like, shoot yourself in some of these situations. Yeah, it is. You have, like, a direct shot on him. Well, you did. Oh, come on. That thing. Oh, you're destroying, like, the whole thing. There's only a few more blocks I left. wasn't meaning to. You're getting blocked by everything. You're getting blocked by little block. There's only, like, one, two, oh. three, four, five. I, I can't count that. Nice. There we go. There you go. I was like, really? Am I going to have to destroy all these moving pieces before? <laughs> so I, you probably haven't played the football game. So like you go off the screen, you come on the other side. There was this football game for Atari where you could do that. So if you just, it was, it was really like cheating because you could just go off one side of the screen and come back on the other side of the screen. <laughs> So you were trying to get a touchdown? Yeah, but it was really easy because that was kind of a way to cheat. Yeah. There's lots of little things like that on Atari that were always kind of funny. Oh, come on. Oh! That was a, like, direct Score. hit. Yep, when he was spinning. Like, I was doing that, too, just, like, pressing A, but you can't actually shoot it that fast. Oh. Oh, you, you got hit. But, uh, yeah, like, I was doing that, too, but you can't really shoot that fast. I still need to break out the, um, so I showed you those, um, the paddles that I picked up when we went to Too Many Games. Uh, it's been a couple years back now that I picked up so we could play Circus. Mm-hmm. But I need to actually break that out so we can actually play Circus on the Atari because What's that circus? was a really fun game. Um, it's it's a fun Atari game. Like you, your guy, you sit there and spin the paddles, and your guys get flung back and forth. So I had a working set of paddles, but I don't know where they went. That's why I bought a a new set while I was at that convention, back when you could still have, go to conventions and stuff. They did have one uh, this year. Ooh, that was close. Yeah. But um I should show it to you, but it's it's mo it's most fun like with the actual true controllers and stuff. Yeah. Where you get to spin the knobs and stuff. It, yeah. It's like some arcades aren't quite the same without this with the real without the actual spinners and stuff. But speaking of arcades, that's what we should play. Uh, the uh, the Simpsons game. Oh, I love that game. It's fun. Yeah, that would be a good one to play. Yeah, I, I like oh, I, I have. Go. Um, I've like tried like playing all the way through it on like that um little like mini like arcade machine that we have. Um, but um every single time I have to like either like, we have to like do something or I have to like get off of it. <sighs> That can be a, yeah, that's a pretty long one. I think we played all the way through Turtles in Time, too, didn't we? Yeah, that was we a good played one. All, we should, actually, that uh, um, Shredder's Revenge on Steam, we need to play that. I, it hasn't come out yet. Oh. I Trust me, that's that's at the top of my, that's at the top of my wish list. I'm, I'm watching, waiting for that one to come out. That is uh, one that's a high priority for me. I'm excited about that one. Yeah. Yeah, that would be a, a oh. Oh, that would have been a good shot right in there. Yeah. So close. Can of. Ooh. That was really close. You almost got hit by him and and your cannon. 
Well, I almost hit him too, though. That, yeah. You can hit him mid flight. Oh. Can I'm getting a little reckless now. Can you hit him with your, um, um, like bullets? Um, no, the bullets don't hurt him. You have to hit him with the cannon. Mm -hmm. So, I think we should stop there because I get laser. I start getting involved. I mean, I'm not too far from death, but yeah. So, yeah. what do you think? Definitely a classic. That's that's definitely why I grabbed that cartridge. I mean, yeah. I guess I could have grabbed a Berserk or a Defender or something or yeah. any of the other classics, but this is a great game. Yeah. So. so, leave suggestions for games you want us to play in the comments below, and until next time. Until next time.